Yo, what's going on, Sexy Similar Squad? How are you guys doing today? Um, I hope you're doing amazing. I am going to play some Dan's Burrow today because he got a little bit changed. Not Omega changed. He didn't get Omega changed, but he did get changed a little bit. I had to adjust my uh, my settings because I lost power the other day and I haven't been on my computer since. Scavenging the outer solar um. system is just my side gig. But yeah, so <clears throat> he got, I guess, kind of a big change. I get, yeah, I mean, I'll call it a big change. I don't know if other people will, but I think it's pretty massive. It's 10 base damage on each tick of his one so like this this right here this damage it says it says 95 it used to be 85 and it can stack three times so basically his one at level three does 30 more damage which is a huge deal because 30 damage is basically like a full ass auto attack you add to your fights level three now you know it's like it's a, it's a pretty big deal man only one of those but yeah i mean you can just tell i just demolished an amc in a trade and i am going blood forge first item because i do believe it's the best build you can do it's really really strong right now not to mention the 10 base damage also helps with this clear quite a bit you know i don't have a whole ton of mana he started with mana potions actually which is really interesting Oh, you got that. Oh, big damage from me. Oh my god, he got rolled. I guess I took a lot of damage from Minion Wave too. Mm. Alright. Fair play. I tanked Minion Wave for no reason. Alright, let's back out here. I really need to get the Blood Forge online early, so I'm just gonna do one of each pot. I'm not gonna actually go into Chalice here. Although a Chalice would arguably be better. And also, I really want gold, so if I can, I'm gonna see if I can... Oh, damn. Unlucky. I'm not going to use my potions, I don't think. I don't think I need to right now. Also, on top of uh, Danza's one getting a buff. A 10 damage base buff across all ranks, by the way. His three got really better at low level, which is actually really good for two reasons. One, you don't level the three second. You always level the two second. So, like, when, so when an ability that you don't max gets upgraded at low rank it basically just means that ability is that much better like it's just so much better and for in terms of his three his movement speed went from 10 percent to 20 percent while inside the the cone and it went from 20 percent to 30 percent in the leap at maximum rank i think it's similar but um yeah i mean it's pretty massive Let's go, brother. I missed. He actually demolished me. That alt hurt. See, my alt hit him harder, but he does have a red buff, which I probably should have remembered. I'm okay with this. I kind of want to go Berserkers. I just need to make sure I don't get ulted. Like, I don't step close enough to be ulted. Because that's when things go poorly for me. Alright. I'm still comfortable with this. Oh, 
Oh, I thought he used his shell. I thought he used his shell in the last fight. That's why I was so confident I could win that. Oops. Well, I guess if you're not paying too much attention, you're just going to get rolled, huh? Makes sense. That was stupid. I really thought he shelled. Okay, that was really good for me. I kind of wanted to go into tower there, but I'm a little scared. Hmm. I do really good damage. I just don't know if I can kill. It's the only issue. Because he also is kind of tanky with tier 2 breastplate. I'm just going to insta run so maybe I can stop him from doing my blue. I couldn't. Is he still low? Oh yeah, you are. That's good, brother. Oh man, he is fast. Oh my goodness. Maybe I can do his blue. Maybe I can retaliate. I can. Oh, I missed everything, but not horrible. I still have shell up and I have lifesteal and he doesn't. He does have HP five, I guess. Mm. I think if I'd rather be in one of our positions, I'd actually, well, I don't know. I'm going to say I'd rather just be in mine because I have Berserker Shield. I got Blood Forge, which is just a really strong item. But he has a late game item with Transcendence. So maybe I can go Transcendence now. And play for the Hyper late game. That could be interesting. That might be worth. Let's go get XP camp here. I'm not going to use my abilities here. I just want to slow clear them. He just kind of like he acts like he wants to fight and then the second I show up he runs away. That's how it's seeming. Like he never actually wants to fight me. He's like uh he's like a hater in the comment section. They act like they want to fight, but if I show up, it's over. It's Dunsky's for him. You're just going to run away. I'm going to sit here and take your tower because you can't stop me. Perfect. Perfect. 
And is this red buff actually up or is it trolling me? Because if it's actually up, that'd be huge. It is! Would you look at that? Yeah, I mean, the Blood Forge start is so strong. I guess <clears throat> the Blood Forge start is very, very good. And it just becomes an issue when they have that much better of an early game. Because, like, Danza's early game, even though he got this buff, it's still not as good as AMC's, to be fair. Now, I, 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 I will say, I do believe Danza is in a much more significant place than he was before. Like, an extra 30 damage on his 1 at level 1. Or in dual level 3, because it's the lowest level you can beat. Um, is actually huge. Like, you can't deny that. There it is. There it is. And the double lifesteal prevails. He surrenders after getting first blood and dominating the first five minutes. Unfort, man. A diamond border AMC goes down that easily to a Danzaburra buff. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Peace.